Okay, well... Uh, apparently I've been talking to myself for the last five minutes or so. Um... So many... <laughs> so many options to turn off my mic. Um... Melanie and Mr. Self Selfridge, if you're watching this later, uh, I do apologize. Uh, I was not ignoring you. I just did not realize that my, uh, like the settings in my PS4, um, actually had my mic muted, regardless of the fact that, um, my physical mic was not on mute. So... All right, Mr. Selfridge, welcome back. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not always the most tech-savvy person. Uh, far from it. Um, so, and Melanie, you're here too. Okay, good. I <laughs> just keep in mind if ever like you you guys are are like asking questions or just saying hey how you doing or or something and you're not getting any kind of response it's it's not me being rude it's it's simply like i'm having technical difficulties and i don't even realize it So, right now I'm working on, uh, recreating my Bruce Campbell, um, Ash Williams, uh, it can be used for Briscoe County Jr., um, I just, uh, I'm a little short on time today, um, I'm gonna have to, I have to work tomorrow, um, and, uh, I don't normally work Saturdays anymore, but, uh, you know, it's it's uh, one of those rare occasions where I have to help out, um, and uh, so gonna try and <clears throat> I wanted to I wanted to do a little streaming today, um, and uh, hope to you know make an, make some improvements on the Bruce Campbell that I made uh, when I was first starting out. So I'm basically going through. Um, <laughs> my my own tutorial from from uh, the original creation and uh, gonna make some improvements from there so uh, Melanie yeah uh, good eye um, I, I like from the side he doesn't look bad uh, I already have I'm only about half halfway through what uh, I had done before um, but yeah uh, despite the fact that this came from like when I was first making characters uh, like, a year and a half ago? Wow, it's already been like a year and a half I've been doing this. Um, yeah, he, he, so far doesn't look that bad, but I know I can do better, and, uh, considering it'll be like a, um, you know, halloween theme type thing, um, figure this is a perfect time to redo them. Yeah, part well part of me wants to make him like um you know, make him as Ash Ash uh, Williams cuz you know, a Halloween horror theme that kind of thing. Um I do think he would get more traction as Briscoe County Jr considering you know, it's a western game. Yeah. I mean, it's it's uh I think I think when I mentioned this last last week, um, yeah, there was uh, I was I was off. Obviously, I was off by a week as far as when the um, new outlaw pass was going to start. But it will definitely or not outlaw pass. I keep calling it outlaw pass. It's not outlaw pass. It's uh, quick draw pass. Um, yeah, quick draw pass will be out this Tuesday, I believe. 
Um, yeah, and then it's the Halloween pass, so if you haven't gotten it, you know, you might you might want to. Did you, uh, Melanie, did you ever uh, upload your, your character creation? Like, like, uh, to your YouTube, show what it's, show what he looks like? Oh, no, of course you haven't, you, sorry. That was a stupid question, you just said that you didn't get Red Dead again yet. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. A lot of times I speak without thinking, and then I kick myself later for saying something that was, um so obvious yeah no mr selfridge i i wouldn't use real money <laughs> either um especially when you can just keep earning it through the game um i mean it's a lot harder to get gold now but um, you know, as long as you enjoy playing the game, you still, you still get it plenty. Um, unless you're wanting to buy, like, whatever, like, Arthur Morgan's outfit, which is an insane amount, I think it was like 68 gold, if I, if I remember correct. Um, yeah, it's, it's just an insane amount of gold for an outfit. Um, but, I mean, if somebody wants to dress up as Arthur, they really don't have a choice. Uh, you can piece together an outfit for a lot cheaper that looks similar, but it's still not going to look right. Working with the earlobes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's that's kind of the way I see it. But I mean, I've I've made an Arthur character. I've made uh, a Micah. Um, I think the only character I haven't, the only characters I haven't made have been John and Sadie. As far as like. The, the gang that would go out and do stuff. I haven't really, you know, all, all the ladies from the, um, from the gang, I, I haven't, I haven't made any of them. Um, but most of them were, you know, they, they stuck around camp, uh, and whatnot, as opposed to, like, someone like Sadie, who would gladly join in the fight. Um, but yeah, I've, I've made, I've made Dutch, Arthur, uh, Micah, Charles, uh, Bill, uh, Javier, um, oh, I guess I haven't made, um, well, I haven't made Lenny, which is actually now a bit disappointing, I'm, I'm disappointed with myself for not having made him yet, um, Hosea, Hosea is one that I've been wanting to make, I just, every time I think about it, um, I'm not actually on the system, like I'm at work or doing something else, and it's like, oh, hey, I should, I should really make him. But I don't know. There are some really cool videos, and granted, if like you're say you're playing on a PC or something, there's there's hacks or whatever you can actually play as Arthur. Like you can you can. Um, find his his the code for for playing him and and just have your character uh, have his skin and then you can do all this crazy stuff on a PC um, 
But you know, there's there's people who make videos with uh, with characters um, in in the online portion. Uh, there is um, Cali Gaming, Kate Cali Gaming. I keep I keep wanting to say Kaylee, and I know that's not right, but Cali Gaming. She she like her and her friends will uh, will make li make little stories and whatnot. Um, and whereas my character creations are pretty much just like straight up like hey here's the character um like Callie will uh like she'll give she, she tends to have like little intros for them um she recently made a Thor video um where she like she had uh she had oops sorry I'm I'm doing stuff with my video or my uh my previous video here at the same time I'm trying to go through this um yeah no so like as an intro to the, her character creation um she had a, a fun little edited video of her version of Thor doing get help with uh, with Loki from uh, Thor Ragnarok um it's really fun to see these things done with with the you know the characters that people have made Uh, it looks like there's four people in the room right now, so hello, four people. Um, I'm just kind of rambling. A little stream of consciousness. Uh, I do apologize. It just tends to be the way I think, or, you know, lack of thinking, I suppose, in some cases. Um, the character I originally made doesn't have these options on him, but I want to start off with a bit of a, like a, a blank slate, if you will. That would be cool. I mean, chances are, you know, I've I've been wanting to do a, a Bresco County Junior tutorial for for the outfits, um, just because I mean, like, like I mean, let's face it, there there isn't a whole lot of modern Western uh, media. There's there's the occasional movie, but like TV shows and whatnot. Um, like I have trouble thinking of what the last one was. What was the last one? I know it actually wasn't that long ago. Um, Hell on Wheels? I think? Um, but yeah. The one the one issue that I keep running into with, with outfit tutorials, and actually even character creation tutorials, because because uh, that isn't always available, but um like the options that are available to me since I've been playing for so long aren't necessarily available to other people um, which is rather disappointing because um, you know it's, it's for so for example like the hair that's available right now that the one that looks like a mullet um, it's only available right now if you get the uh, the outlaw pass um, or the quick draw pass um, and if you don't, then, then you won't be able to get it, which to me is just, uh, ridiculous. Um, I mean, something that, that I think would be perfect is, like, if you got the Outlaw Pass, you get these, these options for free. So, like, the hair, the hairstyle, um, you get it for free. If there's clothes involved, you get it for free. Um... If you don't get the Outlaw Pass, or if you don't, uh, whatever, Outlaw Pass, Quick Draw Pass, Halloween Pass, whatever, um, 
it should still be available to you, but then you have to pay some money for it. You know, then you have to use your gold or use your red dead dollars. Um, just so that everybody, so it's available to everybody. Um, it's just, you know, if, if you've been playing for the whole time, you get a little bit of a, of a perk for, you know, just earning it by playing it instead of having to buy it. That is just me, uh, Rockstar, if you're listening, um, do it. I know Rockstar is not listening. Why would they listen to me? Despite, you know, my, my brilliant ideas. And I just hit my microphone. I'm gonna narrow down my search here. Okay. Gunslinger's belt. That's the one thing I've I've never really messed around with. Um as far as like outfit options go, I've never really messed with the the belts so much. Um which would probably add a whole uh, a whole extra dimension to the appearance cuz I mean when it comes to outfits, like I tend to only um or sorry, when it comes to clothes, I tend to only buy the buy the stuff, like make sure I buy the stuff that will like appear in the character creation stuff. So like a coat, gloves, hats, none of that shows up when I'm making a character, but the belt still does. So yeah, that would actually probably be a smart thing for me to do. Yeah. See, I just got one that like I mean, it's it's a pretty generic-looking gun holsters and belt there. Um, the only time I actually got a, a different gun holster was when I made a caveman character. And, uh, you know, I wanted it to look like something that a caveman could actually make. And I, I got one that was, like, made out of rope or twine or something. Um, yeah. Yeah, see, now that I'm looking at this, at, at the character creation, so this is basically what the character I made looked like um, from when I first started out making characters. Um, and now, I don't know if you guys have watched 
uh, Army of Darkness anytime recently, but at one point in the movie, um, there's like three different book books of the dead, three different Necronomicons. Um, one of them like attacks him. Uh, another one is the real one, but there's a third one that like he, o- he opens it up and there's like a a portal that just tries sucking him in and his his face gets elongated that's kind of what this looks like to me now um granted i mean his his uh you know bruce campbell's face has always been very much uh chin oriented i think um but uh yeah it 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 i can do better I can make a better character. And yeah, Army of Darkness is the best one. Um, Evil Dead 1 one and 2. Like, Evil Dead 2 is... They're basically the same movie. Apparently they're supposed to be sequel... Like, a true one... Like, Evil Dead 2 is supposed to be a true sequel. Um, I actually haven't watched... I'll admit, I haven't watched them in years and years. Um... But, like, I don't understand why the guy would go back to the same cabin with his girlfriend if his previous uh, time, if his time there before, like, he ended up with all of his friends and his previous girlfriend dead. Like, why would you go back there? I don't get it. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> to be fair, in, in GTA, like, pretty much any character you make is going to be like a caricature of who they're supposed to look like. Um, it's it's just, you, you can't help it. That's just the way it is. Like, that game itself is, what, 10 years old now? It originally came out on, like, the PS3, Xbox 360 and now it's you know we're on the ps5 and the xbox series x um so i mean it's it's an old game it has outdated uh character creation stuff um but it's still you know for for those who like that kind of game it's still a lot of fun um it isn't it isn't much of the way that i like to play but you know, to each their own. (laughs) All right. I'm just messing with his ears and I feel like he already looks better. Never underestimate the ears in character creation. He's still very, very chinny, but got a lot of chin. Those eyes got to change, though. And the cheeks. And the lips. Basically, the entire face. Entire face has to be adjusted. (laughs) 
Nope, nope, not that way. <laughs> Look away! <laughs> Look away! Um, Arma Dillinger, hey, dude, what's up? Yeah, I'm actually really proud of that one. Like, I, I feel like I've, I'm, I'm finally starting to understand how, um, like the makeup options and everything else can help create the character I'm going for. Um, yeah, it, it, like, I've, I've had so many problems trying to work with, uh, with, with female characters. Um, so yeah, no, I was, I was really, uh, happy with how that one turned out. But looking at, uh, looking at my Fox Mulder, like, the side view of him looks good. I'm really happy with how he looks from the side. I, I might have to remake him, make some tweaks uh, from from the front, because that one... I, I'm generally happy with it, but he, he looks more of, like, the, uh, whatever, like, Season 9 or 10 um, Mulder. And I, I, I would like him to look a little bit younger, but that might not be possible because um, just the heritage option itself, like he already has has like certain facial wrinkles. Like even even making him as young as I can, um, like there's there's just it's impossible to make him look younger. Um, but any other heritage option just looks completely wrong. Oh, Ash's dad from the series. Um, I'm trying to remember who he was. I know he um, he there he was like the star of of uh, a TV show from like the 70s, I think. Um, the Million Dollar Man, if I remember, the Bionic Man, something like that. Um, Brock Williams. Yeah, that that was the character name, right? Um, I just, I, I know that the actor himself, like, he, he was in some, like, really, like, insanely popular, uh, TV series from the 70s, um, had, like, his own toy and everything. I want to say it was the Million Dollar Man, but I, I could be wrong. It might be the Bionic Man. You know what, Armor Dillinger? Ho hold on, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna check out your your web, uh, your your Facebook page or Facebook. Sorry, uh, YouTube here, cause I want to see how your uh, your Mulder compares to the one that I have at the moment. Um. Oh, I see you got 688 subscribers right now. Dude, I was... I had more than you for, for like, a hot second. Like, just... Like, uh... For, for like, a, a day and a half or something. Probably.
Okay, so I'm looking at him, and honestly, I don't think he's that bad. Uh, I don't think he's bad. I should say that. Way. Um, like, I think I think maybe the nose might be a little bit too wide. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, like you use the same heritage and everything that I did. So, I don't know. I think I, I might have used different eyebrows too, but. Um, no, I I don't I don't think you did I don't think you did a bad job. But yeah, I mean you use the same heritage that I did, so so you understand the the uh, the the bit of a complaint that I had with the fact that like I can't make him you can't make him look any younger. So. Yeah, and see, that's the weird thing, too, is that, like, sometimes they will, like, these creations will look so good when in, in creation mode, and then you get them in-game, and you're just like, ah, that, that didn't turn out the way I, I had hoped. Um, so, like, a, a couple of good examples that I made were, um, uh, Lou Diamond Phillip from um young guns like in character creation i i thought he looked okay i wasn't that happy with him but then i see him in the game and i'm just like that is just spot on um and i was really happy with how he looked like in the game and also um well, what's his name um val kilmer as doc holiday from tombstone like, my character creation, in hindsight, I think he looks a little too old. Um, like, I probably should have reduced reduced the age a little bit, bring down the wrinkles a bit, a little bit. But then I have him in game, because, like, I made character outfits for him, too. And in, in the game, he looks great. Um, so it's just, it's it's kind of, I don't know, it's it's surprising how, how much of a difference there can be between character creation and and the in-game product so i mean if i had the if i had the money to constantly like be buying uh or pay for for um changing changing the look of my character i i would definitely be doing that making sure that people can um get the best looking character they could but I mean, ten gold for each character change—that's that's that's a lot of money. Lee Major, thank you, Melanie. Um, yeah, was it a movie? I thought it was a TV series. The Six Million Dollar Man. Yeah, was there a Bionic Woman? I don't know. I'm not, I'm, honestly, I'm not that familiar with with TV shows from back in the '70s. Um, but uh, I mean, I I know them enough to reference them wrong. I guess is what it comes down to. That's something I really don't like about this heritage. Like, from that from that angle, it looks fine. From the side, it looks fine. But then, like, that three fourths angle, it looks like he has like a bee sting or something in his upper lip. Always. Fifteenth, yeah. 
Honestly, I you know, growing up I was I was always more of a Freddy Krueger uh Jason Voorhees uh fan. Um and then like a little bit later when uh with Scream, the Scream movies, wanting to find out who the killer was and all that stuff. Uh Halloween never really like I, I never really gravitated towards that, um, as a kid. But um yeah, the last the last Halloween movie that came out, that was actually pretty good. Um, and um, <clears throat> I know that they, I know, I shouldn't say I know, but um, I thought that they had said they wanted to make this like the final Halloween movie. So basically, it was like the first Halloween movie that was ever made from like like whatever back in. 78 or whenever it was um and then it jumps forward to the movie that came out a few years ago and like all the ones in between never happened and then this this new Halloween movie it's supposed to be like a a, a new trilogy essentially um which I mean you know considering that all the different like whatever timelines and possibilities or whatever that are supposed to have happened with, uh, with all the different Halloween films. Um, I mean, that, that same, seems like it would be a good way to go. Um, and I love the fact that they actually, like, they even aged the mask. It's the little details that always get me for, for stuff like that. It's like, they, they aged the mask so it's actually like something that was sitting around in storage for the past uh, whatever, 40-ish years, 50 years, something like that, 80, 90, listen. yeah, like, like 40-ish years, 45 years, I'll say 45, right in the middle, 40, 50, 45 is good, um, I don't know what's what's a new movie that was coming out that I was really looking forward to. Um, yeah, see, that's what I heard. Um, that like the reason that they wanted this to be a new trilogy. And and basically have this one be the the final one, is because they would reveal Michael Myers' actual face. Like I know in the last movie they kind of like showed it from, kind of like a, a three fourths perspective from behind, like you saw like the side of his face or or like from a little bit from behind, but the side of his face whatnot. Um, but the the from what I read, um, the reason that they never wanted to show Michael Myers' face is because once you actually see his face, he loses, like, any kind of mystery or, or terif terrifying aspect to him. You, you see that he is just a, a human being. Um, and in this case, an old man. Um, and the, the, the scariness of him just wouldn't be there anymore after that. Um, and I, 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 I kind of agree with that, um, where it's like, where, like with, um, whatever, Scream or, uh, the Friday the 13th movies, like seeing who was under the mask or, or what Jason looked like under the mask, um, was part of the reason to go. Um, but with, with Michael Myers, that's, that's been his thing for, for literally decades. Um, just this kind of like horrifying boogeyman that you never actually, um, like, like anybody could be under that mask, but you know, it's always the same guy. Um, yeah. And to remove that mask just would be 
I don't want to say anticlimactic, but I mean it, it would definitely take away some of that that eerie factor to him to see that he's just a regular guy. But yeah, I mean they even say that in the um, in the trailers I've seen, like. Uh, um, God, what's the actress's name? Like in the movie, she's called her name is Lori. Um, well, you know who I'm talking about. But yeah, saying that you know, he, she she's gonna she wants to rip the mask off and and look him in the eyes uh, as she kills him. So. That is not what I wanted to do. Wrong one. There we go. Jamie Lee Curtis. Yes. Jamie Lee Curtis. Thank you. Wasn't quite right, but it was enough to get me there. Thanks, Armadillinger. And yeah, Laurie Strode. Is Strode his her her married name in the movie? Melanie, I I'm I'm cuz now I'm I'm like now that you mention it, um like Laurie and Michael are brother and sister, so why is it Michael Myers and and Laurie Strode? I'm sure that there's some reason from the movies that I'm I just blanking on because I haven't watched them in so long. Okay. I'm sure there's some really simple explanation, like, whatever, she had her, her name changed to protect her identity, or, or, you know, she got married and that's her married name, or... I don't know. Maybe maybe one of them was adopted. I I don't know. So many simple uh simple possible answers and I have no idea. Oh, nope. That's too much downward for the nose. Maybe a different dad? Yeah. I mean they could be they could be half brother and sister. That would make sense too. Do you remember the reason that that he <clears throat> that Michael turned out the way he did? Like the the reasoning that I'm that's sticking in my mind is is from the uh um, Rob Zombie reboot from like 10 years ago and that was just simply that he was evil and there wasn't really any big explanation behind it
Yeah, but why did he kill his sister in the first place? Like, like, that was, that happened when he was a kid. But, so what made him do that? You know, I mean, I can understand, like, being put in a mental hospital and, and, um, you know, that having a, 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 an adverse effect. Um, yeah. I should really watch those movies. Get an idea of what's going on there. Oops. I don't know. I mean, it is October. I mean, if there was ever a time to watch those movies, it would be in October. Oops. That is not... Okay, there we go. I definitely think this uh, until I turned him that way. I was like, this is definitely an improvement, and then I turn him the other direction. Like, eh, maybe not. I haven't messed with his cheeks a whole lot yet, though. So, Melanie, what what is your uh, favorite horror movies? And anybody else wants to chime in too? I mean, by all means, um, you know, it is it is October. I'm making uh, whatever paranormal horror themed uh, characters this month. Um, so, if you guys want to toss out any kind of um, like horror themed movies that you enjoy, by all means, do. Uh, 4K. Yeah, um, I don't know if, I don't know about the original, Armadillinger, I don't know about the original movie from, like, back in the 70s, but I do know that the one that just came out, uh, uh like a couple years ago, that there, for that there is a 4, uh, 4K version of it. Yeah, so the Scream series, um, both, both, uh, Scream and Evil Dead, uh, actually I shouldn't say that about the Evil Dead now, um, the Scream series, I know for sure they are making another movie of it, uh, Melanie, did you ever watch the, the TV series, Scream, I think it was made on MTV or something, um, I never actually watched it, but, uh, if, you know, if you've seen it, um, let me know what you thought, because, um, I, I did like the Scream series growing up. Uh, best horror movie? I, I, yeah, I, I, ugh. when it comes to best horror movie, it, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's always, anytime somebody says best anything, it's always going to be a matter of taste. Like, like for me, I really enjoyed, as far as horror movies go, I really enjoyed the uh, Friday the 13th remake. Um, it basically combined the first and second uh, Friday the 13th movies. Um, it, it, 
yeah, to me that one was really good, but a lot of people didn't like it. Um, which is disappointing, because I was really hoping it would get a sequel. Um, but then on the, on the, you know, complete other end of the spectrum, um, like, I liked, uh, what is it, Jason 10? Like, when he goes, when, the, when he basically, Jason goes to outer space. Um, but by that point, it had lost a lot of any kind of horror aspect. And it was just going for gore and, honestly, some humor. Um, so there was, like, some tongue-in-cheek... Uh, scenes and stuff um, but I, I still enjoyed it uh, and Melanie sorry about the puppy being annoying um, but hey it's a puppy it's still gonna be adorable uh, what kind of what kind of puppy do you have and what's the puppy's name Um, the 2009 version. Uh, sorry, I was I was on a ramble there, Armadillinger. Um, you are you refer, when you when you're asking about the 2009 version, are you talking about the uh, the Friday the 13th remake? I, I I believe that's what I was rambling about at the time. And Melon, uh, Melanie, if, if you get around to watching it, by all means, let me know. Um, I, I honestly don't even know where to where I would be able to watch it at this time. So, um, yeah, okay, then then yeah, the the 2009, whatever the last Friday the thir- 13th movie was, um, 2009 sounds about right. Um, yeah, I, I really like that movie, even though I know a lot of people didn't. Um, Jason actually seemed like a, a credible threat. Um, he wasn't this, he wasn't a supernatural kind of boogeyman that like, you know, no matter how hard you ran, he was always, he always got ahead of you. Um, and granted in, in this case, there are, um, there is a bit of, of that, like, but it it's explained, you know, like he he knows the woods and he's not some slow paced zombie. Um, he's he's fast, um, you know. He's agile. He can he can easily catch up with you no matter what. Um, and he he knows the woods. That's where he grew up. So it makes sense that he would be able to. Uh, catch up with you no matter how fast you ran oh did mm, what did you tell me this before I could have sworn that somebody told me that their their puppy's name was Shelby not that long ago Collie cross husky I don't know. Pup, dogs in general are just fantastic. Like there are some people that just I I, I personally believe they don't they don't deserve dogs. Um, in general, in in part, I I kind of think that people in general don't deserve dogs just because dogs are so uh, so loving and so so awesome. Um, but, uh, I, I say that as a half joke. Um, but, uh, yeah, no. Sorry, I'm looking up uh, some reference photos for for Bruce Campbell right now.
Uh, sorry, like I said, I'm trying to find some uh, reference photos for Bruce Campbell. And, uh, you know, most of them that I'm finding are, are him from now, not from the, uh, the Evil Dead Army of Darkness days. Favorite type of dog? Um... Oof. See, that's just... That, uh, Armadillinger, that's that's part of my problem, man. It's like, like I think of favorite, and it, it, it all depends on on what I'm looking at exactly. Um... Like, I, I know I wouldn't... I, I know I wouldn't be able to handle a husky. Um, or or a Chihuahua, like like those are two opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, but I've 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 kind of wanted a bulldog. Uh, just just the, the <laughs> that 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 kind of like full jowly face, um, and and I don't know. I just think they're adorable. Um, I know a lot of people are are think they have a, a bad temperament and, and whatnot, but, um, you know, in my experience, it's, it's, it's not really a bad dog, it's, it's a bad owner, um, so, I don't know, like, like, yeah, like a bulldog, that kind of thing, um, I just think they're adorable, but at the same time, there's, there's some dog, I don't even know what the breed is, but it, it just has this short, curly hair. Um, I don't know. It, it, it looks like... You look at it and you think it, it looks like a mop. Uh, but it's... I, I don't know. Like, like they don't really shed, which I, I think is great. Um, you know, they're... they're big enough you can you can do a little bit of of playful roughhousing with but they're not so big that you know you have to worry about getting hurt by them or or hurting them um no it's not a poodle well i mean, I, I don't know it might be a type of poodle um but uh yeah no i should really look into it i know my my boss has the dog um and um and a friend of mine has has a has the type of dog too um like i think of a poodle i think of like a french poodle that's the first one that comes to mind uh, is a french poodle um with and this isn't that like it definitely isn't that kind of face it doesn't have like a really big snout or anything like that um uh Okay, I'm gonna have to Google what kind of dog that is. Yeah, that's not that's not the that's not the kind of dog I'm thinking of. Um that's that's more of a puffball looking thing. Um this one has like short kind of curly hair. I don't know like I'm I'm see now I'm now I'm distracted looking at looking at dogs on the internet. Sorry guys. Um small the small dog that looks good baby sheep yeah no that's that's not that's not the kind of dog I'm, I'm thinking of um, but while I was looking there is uh, it looks more like one of these other ones that came up while I was uh, looking at that like a a Malta Malta poo M A N or sorry M A L T I P O O um, 
That's still not the right kind of dog, but that looks closer. Um... Yeah, it's it's See, this is a dangerous thing, man. You guys you guys have me uh like I'm I'm trying to make a character here and and then like like we t start talking about dogs and I'm like what kind of dog is it? What kind of dog is I thinking of? Um Shiv Cavishan? That looks that looks kind of closer. Um, still not in the same realm. See, it was still not quite right though. Um, uh, kind of dog a collie, uh, like a like a border collie or. or gonna look up just to make sure that I, I'm on the same page as you guys. Uh, Kali. Oh, yeah, like Lassie. Alright. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely not like, like, it's not that kind of Kali. It's not that kind of dog. Um. You know what? I'm just gonna Google search, like, dog with, with curly hair. Dog breed. Um. Oh wow. Okay. So I found a dog that actually. I don't know. Maybe my friend actually just takes like better care of the dog. Like gets it groomed more often. Um. Cause there is one like I mentioned. It looks like a mop, but I've like. I just brought up a, a type of dog that literally looks like a mop. Um, it's a, a, a pulley or pulley? P-U-L-I. If you guys have not looked up uh, what, a, what this dog looks like, it, it really... It, it does. It looks like it should have a broom... Uh, like a broom handle coming out of its head. Um... Like I, I'm, I feel like I'm, I feel like there is a dog buried underneath a mop. Like I, that's, the, I'm looking at the, the picture right now. Um, it is, it is literally the dog looks like a mop with with the long hair. Um. Yeah, I should, I should, um, I should get back to making, ma making the character here. Uh, but now I'm looking at puppies. Oh, such cute puppies. Yes, these are, these are what you call floofs. And apparently I've been talking about dogs long enough that I've, I've, uh... I've scared off a couple of people that were watching. So... Um... I don't care. If they don't like dogs, then I don't like them. Just cycling through the heritages, seeing if there isn't possibly somebody else or some other heritage that would have worked.
Uh. Okay, back to character creating. And yeah, this guy this guy just has so much chin. Yeah, have you, um... Yeah... Yeah, and actually I, I did make an Arnold Schwarzenegger when I was first starting out too, and this was the heritage that I ended up using for him. Um, obviously, you know, like, brawny body and all that other stuff, but... Um... Oh, hey, there's a good angle for him. And it actually, like, from from the angle that I'm look, the image that I'm looking at right now, um, oddly enough, his chin doesn't seem that far off, which is. Uh, kind of funny and sad. Oops. Yeah, like a, like a young Sylvester Stallone. Uh, again, I made a Sylvester Stallone not that long ago, but it was based more off of how he looks like now, like uh, from The Expendables. So... Um... Oops. Oh, I gotta bring that forehead back in a bit. Got like a Frankenstein forehead going. Yeah, I mean, that's just it, is that, like, his, uh, I don't know, the features are somewhere in between. That's the problem I've had with making Clint Eastwood, also. It's like, there's, there's one heritage on here that looks like it would make a pretty good older Clint Eastwood, um, but to make a younger Clint Eastwood, it's, it's like... It's a mix of a whole bunch of different heritage heritages. Like the um, uh, like the eyes looked like they would be perfect, but nothing else works. And then another one, the nose looks like it would be perfect, but nothing else works. Mouth would be perfect on another one, but that nothing else works. And it, it's it's uh, it's a bit disappointing.
Yeah, this is... There's definitely work to be done with this one. I definitely think that what I've done so far is an improvement over what he... You know, the last one that I did. Um... But it's possible I'm just not in the right, uh right mindset right now kind of thinking about having to you know having to get up uh, to go to work tomorrow um when I normally don't and and uh, also trying to figure out what kind of dog that is that uh, that that was so adorable so um I have I have both you Melanie and Arma Dillinger if, if you're still in here I blame both of you for for uh Distracting me with the I thoughts of uh, of adorable puppies. So um, there's much worse things I could be distracted by, but um, puppies are most definitely distracting. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that this this kind of uh, um. I don't know, somewhere, somewhere, <laughs> like, somewhere between, um, like, Briscoe County Jr. and Spider-Man, when he, his appearance in Spider-Man movies. Like, he was, when he wasn't really doing much, he wasn't really in anything. Like, I feel like that's kind of where his age is at, at this moment. Like, we never saw him at this age, but I feel like this is what he would look like when we weren't seeing him. As weird as that probably sounds. Maybe it's his eyes. Or not his eyes, his eyebrows. Mm -hmm. It's another thing I don't really care for for this heritage is that like even even his his bushiest eyebrow option. Um, really isn't that bushy. Like, some of the heritage, it's like, the bushy eyebrows take up, like, half his forehead. That was the wrong direction. For the eyes. Oh, I think that actually helped. Like, like having his eyes uh, more sunken in. Kind of gives him, uh, kind of gives his eyes the, um, a little bit of a, of a brooding aspect.
I don't know, maybe if he, maybe if I adds double. When all else fails, adds double. Eh, yeah, I don't think that really helps. For some reason now he- I, I feel like now he looks even more like Sylvester Stallone. Or, oh, no, 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 um... Thomas Jane. Looks kind of like Thomas Jane. Played the uh, Punisher. Um. Whatever, back before, like, the Netflix series. Maybe I should redo my Thomas Jane, because that actually doesn't look that bad. All right. Uh, honestly, I probably I probably won't be here by the time you get back, uh, Melanie. I'm uh, I don't. I definitely want to. I definitely want to be uh, in bed within the next like 20 minutes or so, just because of work tomorrow. Um. But uh, if if I'm still here by chance, then you know, we'll see you then. If not, uh, we'll see you the next time I'm on. I kind of feel like, like, the less I try to make him a caricature, the less he looks like Bruce Campbell. I've made quagmire. That actually might work for quagmire, now that I think about it. Bring in the cheeks.
Remove the age. Bring back some age. He definitely needs the extra chin. Otherwise, it just doesn't look like him, like at all. Like not that much chin, but He just has such a weird nose. Why must you have a weird heritage nose? And that way it doesn't look bad, but for some reason, that way it, it looks extra pointy. Come on. doesn't have that big of a forehead. I mean, that helps, but... One way he looks heroic, another way he looks skeletal, another way he looks... There he looks sinister. I don't know. Speak to me, character creation gods. Uh, maybe rein in the 
that nose a little bit. Yoink. Jeez. Uh, hey, J Juby Disciple, how you doing, man? Um, you asked about, uh, let me see if I can remember. It's been a while, man, I know that. Um, and you're, you're in luck, too, because, like, within five minutes here, I think I was going to be going off, uh, going offline. Um, you had asked about the, um, uh, slim, slim, something slim. Yeah. Jack Swift. Swift, not slim. See, I, I, I had it in my mind. Um, I just was off on the name. So. Yeah, no, I'm glad you liked it, man. Um... Yeah, no, I, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, to be completely honest, I'm surprised, uh, I'm still doing this, but I, I've been having fun, so, um, yeah. So are you still playing as, as, uh, like the son of Jack Swift, or did you, did you change it up a bit? Oh, so now you have two Jack Swifts that, like, running around wreaking havoc. Or did you guys do, like, a, like a father-son, like, team-up type thing? Like a, like a family gang... That would actually be kind of cool. Like if somebody had, uh, okay. <laughs> no, I actually thought that, like, like it just popped in my head. That'd actually be kind of cool, like, you know, instead of just, uh, you know, basically a gang of strangers that, that form a family, uh, a family unit, if they actually were a family, and, uh, like, that was their gang. Yeah, see, and that's that's just it. I, I don't think I'll ever create uh, a character that would look like me. Um, yeah, I just, I know I would never think it looks right. Uh, and I'd probably make it, <laughs> end up making it look a lot better than how I actually do. Just out of, like, self-consciousness or whatever. But, um, no, I'm glad to hear that you guys, you know, that you were happy with it and, uh, yeah, no, that's that's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, no, that'd be that'd be cool. Um just keep in mind it, it it might take a little longer 
to do to do whatever you're asking f you're gonna be asking for this time just because um, like I've just changed my hours at work and um, like my sleeping patterns and everything is is all wonky at the moment but um, you know uh, I just just give you know email the info and um, you know I'll, I'll I'll get it done as quickly as I can um, and uh, yeah like this this whole um this basically for october i'm trying to like focus on like um like paranormal spooky horror themed characters um but yeah i mean if if you if you want to toss a commission my way man um i, I will i will make sure to to get it in there so But I'd also let you know if, like, I really, if I really don't think I'd be able to make one that would be, uh, acceptable. Um, I, I'll, I'll let you guys know that, too, because, you know, the, the, the last thing I would want is for somebody to, like, pay me, give me some, some, uh, some, some of their hard-earned money and, and, like, it just, the character looks like trash. I, I wouldn't want that. Uh, nobody would be happy in that situation. So... But, uh, welcome back, Melanie. Um, I was just talking with, with the Juvie Disciple here. Um, he was, uh, he's, he, uh, like, he, he's been, I, I don't know, dude, are, are you, do you have a, are you subscribed to my channel or no? Um, I mean, you know what, you don't have to answer that, that's fine. Uh, it's, um, you know, but, uh. Yeah, no, Juvie Disciple is, is actually one of the, like, the earliest peoples that, the earliest people that, that, uh, you know, were, were chatting with me on my, uh, on my channel, like, I want to say, like, when I had less than, than a hundred, uh, subscribers, um, granted, I mean, it's not like, like, my channel's blown up or anything since then, um, you know, but uh, I I got more than than like a hundred, so I feel good about that. It's just it's nice to know that like people are actually enjoying what I do and um, you know like it enough that they actually are subscribing. It's so weird. Like, I don't think that he looks bad, but I also don't think he looks... Like, somehow, I think that, like, how this character... How he... Like, my first version of this character actually looks better in a lot of ways than this one. I don't know. I like him a little bit more now that he has a, a bigger chin, but... Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent now, but... um. Yeah, and that's part of the, part of the, <laughs> I, I start talking like I was actually in the middle of a conversation, and really it's just a train of thought that I'm now verbalizing. Um, like, like, when it, when it comes to the, the, I don't want to say generically handsome, but like, Unless, unless a person's face has some really defining characteristic, it's, it's really difficult to create somebody that looks like them.
All right, but um, you know what? I I think I'm I'm gonna call it though. Um, I wanted to be I wanted to be in bed within the next two minutes here, so. Uh, you guys, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out. You know what? This might be the way I always just end my streams is is that thanking everybody that that's hung out and, and uh, you know chatted with me, uh, kept me busy while I was working on on characters. Um, you know, as, as always, I, I appreciate like uh, you know just just the the conversation and everything. Um, uh, yeah, Melanie, uh, thanks for coming back, uh, you know, sorry, sorry I wasn't on for, for much longer, but, um, I actually thought that I, like, for this character, I thought I was only gonna be on here for, like, maybe a half an hour, and it's already almost two hours, so, um, Juvie Disciple, man, welcome back, uh, you know, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for the email, um, and if there's somebody else in here that that isn't one of you one of those two uh you know i i hope you enjoyed the video or the stream um you know it's especially the part about dogs because dogs are awesome um i won't say that they're much better than cats but uh they they you know we we, we all know they are so anyway um all right uh again thanks for thanks for hanging out with me guys i really appreciate it um have a good night and uh you know i'll i'll see you next time all right bye